So in the given problem, he has given the impulse response of a continuous LTA system and then he is saying at some k radians per second the frequency response, the square frequency response is equal to half of its peak value. Then he is asking at what value of k that happens. So first of all I will find out the frequency response of a given time response system. So the impulse response in terms of t this is h of t is given as a delta of t that's 5 into e power minus 5t into u of t. So first I'll find out the frequency response this is equal to this is 1 plus 5 by 5 plus j omega. So this is nothing but 10 plus j omega by I plus j omega. So now what is saying? He is saying h of j omega square is equal to half of maximum of h of j omega square. This is the condition at omega equal to k. Right? Now, how to calculate h of j omega square? So, h of j omega square is nothing but h of j omega into h of j omega its complement. So, this is nothing but h of j omega square. So, this is equal to so h of j omega is 10 plus j omega by 5 plus j omega conjugate is 10 minus j omega by 5 minus j omega so this is equal to 100 plus omega square by 25 plus omega square this is h of j omega square what about the maximum value of this? The maximum value of this is nothing but 100 by 25. So this is 4. Now you just equate these two. So 100 plus omega square by 25 plus omega square equal to half of its peak value is 4 right and also is told that omega equal to k so this is 100 plus k square by 25 plus k square equal to 2 so I just find out this k value 100 plus k square equal to 50 plus 2k square this implies k square equal to 50 this implies k equal to root 50 that is nothing but 7.07 radians per second 